Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. My next guest is an American treasure. He's a great actor. He's an author. He's got a new children's book out. It's called Ghost Buddy. It's about a guy who's got a ghost for a buddy. <laughs> It's available in stores now. It, this is this is kind of like, uh, you know, it's one of like one of those things you get on your Kindle, but in paper form. <laughs> Please welcome Henry Winkler, everybody. Henry Winkler. It's great to see you, pal. I'm so... I feel like I should clean up. No, don't clean up. Don't, don't, don't. I threw my phone in the floor, though. You did? I threw it. I was like, I have had enough of this rubbish, and I threw it in the floor. You know the weirdest thing that happened? What happened? Another one popped up. <laughs> <laughs> this, looks, uh, this looks good, Henry. What's this about? It's uh, about... Lynn Oliver and I wrote uh, Hank Zipser. We wrote 17 of those. Right. And then we Very decided... Very popular they were. Very popular. Yeah. And also in Scotland. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, and then, it's true. Really? They were very popular in Scotland? They are, yes. But your books are very popular in Scotland? They are. Are they in Scottish? They are not in... Oh, no, we wrote them in English. Okay, well, good luck yeah. with that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, this is the second series that we've written together. And this is the very first um, uh, children's book called Ghost Buddy. Right, and it's about a guy who has a ghost for a buddy. Yes, he finds out, he moves into a new house. And there's a uh, ghost Billy there? Broccoli does. Uh -huh. He moves into a new house, and in his closet is a ghost, and the ghost sounds like, uh, you could call me a ghost, you could call me a phantom, which works like on Halloween. <laughs> do not, do not call me a banshee, because I think that is rude. I think you'll do very well with this book. I Let's hope see. so. Yeah. Well, can, I, can I keep it? Yes, you can. All right. Great. I'll sign it for you. I will. No, then, then I can't sell it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I, I, no, it'd be great. Yeah, no, sign it. Sign it. That would be All awesome. Right. I'll yeah. put it over here, though, for now. Okay. So that it doesn't get spit on it when I'm yeah. talking. No, yeah. Do you spit when you're talking? I do. Do you? Yes. No way. No, there's sometimes that I do, and I go, I, oh, I sometimes so do that as well. Have you ever laughed and, like, a booger just went out and then... <laughs> I try very hard for that not to happen. Yeah, well, so do I. I'm just yeah. saying, has it ever happened? No, I blow before every conversation. All oh, right, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't that, think that through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the last person you want to make that joke with. <laughs> No, you yeah. don't have to. No, uh, it's because of my accent, everything sounds dirty. No, well, no, it's also your eyes. All right. Hey, so listen, I'm looking on the Twitter, uh, yeah. and I saw these... I love Twitter. It's good, isn't it? I love Twitter. Yeah, it's Twitter. all right, yeah. But you, I follow you on Twitter, and yeah. you were sending these... You were on a fishing trip in Argentina. I was lucky enough to go with the man, uh, Skip Brittenham III, who uh, actually introduced uh, me to, to fly fishing. Right. And he invited me to go to Argentina, where the fish are gigantic. Why, well, I see that, because look at this, this picture you sent of this fish. That is the largest fish I've ever caught. Look at the size of that thing. That is a rainbow trout that is 15 pounds. Did you eat it? No! Oh, well, that's right, you never eat them, were you? I put them you back. You put them back, you put them back. Yes, right. I signed a little autograph and I... Uh... You, no, you, you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. They're much harder to sell once you... Well, I, you know what? It, you, if I sign it without putting your name on it, then you can sell it for a little bit more. Oh, right, that's good. Oh, you were talking yeah. about the book. So again. I never or... put the fish's name on it. I never say, Dear Rainbow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just thanks, Henry Winkler. <laughs> Great to meet you, Henry. Really? <laughs> what a nice. pleasure to hold you in, in my hand. Yes. <laughs> Could you write that in the book? <laughs> <laughs> That's twice. Biggest one I ever had. Oh. Oh. And then here's another picture you sent, a oh, rather yeah. different fish. Look at that Look at one. That. Uh. <laughs> He, I, I put my line in, and I pulled it out, and all of a sudden, whoo, he flew in the air like was an Was he astronaut. all right? Was he okay? He was. Yeah, yeah. I put him back. Yeah, well, of course, you have to put that one. Yeah, back, and, I, and that was a very tiny autograph. Yeah. 
You have to use a tiny little pan. Oh, my goodness. On the smallest piece of cr You're crazy for the fishing, Henry, aren't you? I love to fish. Why? why? You know what? I, I honestly, I am a, I am, it's like a, a washing machine for your brain. Right. When you fish. You cannot worry about anything else when you're on the river, in the river, walking to the river. I love um, fishing. Yeah, I, you made me love it right there as well. <laughs> I don't, well, I, I, mean, I mean, mostly for trout. I've tried other things. You know, deep sea fishing, you go way oh, out. Way out there. Then yeah, you yeah. got to come way back. Uh, and yes, most well. of the time, I vomit. Yeah, well, there's <laughs> the fishing boats that go up. Oh, yeah, my you know, God. You get sick. No. no, you, don't get, you no. don't get seasick on a river. Do you ever get river sick? I don't get river sick. You ever been rubbed by an eel? <laughs> no. I have eaten eel. I've never actually gotten close to an eel. Well, they might come up, and you know, might, one might come up and rub against you. Yeah, I don't like that. I would like. I would really rather not. You sure? <laughs> yeah. If, if we, if if an eel is watching, I'd like you just to rub against. <laughs> not. Uh, Henry, Henry, Henry. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're not, enjoying no, them. No, I don't want them to. This enjoy is the greatest audience. No, ever. no. You know, weight loss programs can be expensive, so to save some money, I just got the popular girls from the local middle school to follow me around. Ew. Seriously? So gross. Ew. Seriously? That is so gross. Ew. Seriously. Dude, that is so totally gross. Gross, I know. There's an easier way to save. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. So I'm just finishing your book. And, uh, you know, that, that was terrific. I mean, that really, I can't recommend this highly. I would enough. like to say that one of the reasons that I love you is that you're a speed reader. I do, yeah. Reading, I, I, reading is I much read, harder I, for me. Yeah, well, I, but you were dyslexic. Or I am. You, yeah, you, you are dyslexic. You don't get over that. You don't? No. It doesn't go away? You learn to just navigate, navigate. it. Right, okay. <laughs> kind of like alcoholism. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> It wasn't a joke, actually. No, no, no. I, I mean, I'll take the laugh, but yeah. no, no, I understand. I'm yeah, not yeah. making fun of that. No, I'm not making fun no. of yours either. If I, if, no, no, never mind. <laughs> Look, so, well, the the, the the innuendos. Oh, wow. we're up to five. Five innuendos? Yeah, I think so. What do you want to talk about? What should we talk? It's actually we're out of time. But I was. Just... Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's over. Well, it's not over. No, you're not over, but I am. No, no. You're, you're, not, you're not over either. I think we're. we're I was we're, just getting started. <laughs> no, you, you don't understand. It takes a long time to wind this stuff down. I understand, but who is the next guest? Can we ask them to come back tomorrow? No, no, we can't because it's it. No, it's Jay Baruchel. He's from uh, French Canada. He, he's is come that up. True? Yeah, he's a lovely. Oh. You know what? I, I'm, I'll just tell this, uh, this story. I have 55 seconds. Yeah, but okay. Oh, no, no. Tell me. No, no, no. no, I don't you, no, oh, no. I'm going to be the guy that stopped Henry Winkler telling this story. No, I'm, I'm saying nothing. No, what no, are you doing? No, nothing. I want to I want to play story. the harmonica no, with you. No, story. No? You, you don't get the harmonica until you tell your story. Okay. The, the, the star of the artist? Yes. They, uh, he called me up and he asked to meet me because... How do you know? Did he just go... No, no. <laughs> no. Uh, a representative of his called me up right. and uh, because the Fonz was his inspiration growing up. How about that? That's fantastic. It was one of the great compliments of my life. Yeah. Also, yes. also one of my influences growing up. Is that true? The Fonz? Oh, I thought maybe... Uh, oh, Jean the guy in the artist? Yeah, Jean de <laughs> Gigi. Nah, I, I never heard of him until he the Oscars. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, that's yeah. a great movie. Yeah, I, 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 and I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to love it. I can act it out for you. No. Uh, well, very quickly, uh, yes. we've got no time at all, so uh, we're out of time. Quickly, blow this, and uh, we'll get out of here. Are we playing off? Yeah.